Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Tonight we are going to look into the Linux utility called Tree. It's awesome, it's cool, and it is not uh, installed by default on your Ubuntu WSL instance. Yes, I'm using Windows and I'm using WSL. Of course, if you're using a clean Ubuntu, then it's even better. But uh, let us start with installing the Tree utility. Apt get install minus y for yes and then give me the tree my password and yes and here it is here it is so i'll just go to my projects right here see the projects which folder should we go and look inside let us look at the docker demo right there and Okay, and I, now I need I need to know of you of the of this beautiful project right here. How can I get that beautiful? Uh, I want a graphical overview. And of course, I'm not using a a real. Uh, I'm not using the Internet Explorer. No, I would I would never do that. So what do we do? We use the tree utility. It is right there, and as you can see right here, it actually gives us a good overview of the folders and of all of the files. And it is also easy if you want to, let's say that I'm looking for a file, I'm looking for maybe the Docker file. And I just write minus P. This is the how to uh, filter the out files. Then you can select whatever you want and you use a star and asterisk as the, uh, this is a wildcard. And I can just say all files to start with read, and then a no asterisk like this. And then I get all of the files like that. Can you see that right there? I could, yeah, so that is pretty awesome. Let us see. Let us see. Let us check if I if I want all the files that starts the, that contains Docker. Now I get all of my uh, all of the files containing Docker. Uh, another thing we can try is that we can actually say that we want we want a human readable. That means that then we get the size in the square brackets. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Then I can see if we have any huge files that would actually um, take up some space that I need to delete. Then I just uh, write. It like that then we have something like uh yeah then we can get the dates is that d oh it was not it was not it was not minus minus help let me just check it's human readable and then we can also get the date by doing something by adding an extra argument and as you can see right here the help is quite good as usual you can also see if you you can also say that you want if you if you would say minus i and then the pattern and you the new then you will exclude those files. Then you get all other files and those matches uh, that matches the pattern that you have right there. And let us just look for the date printout format. Same uh, here we have here, here's formatted. We can also give, put a, a place the output in a file if you want to. Um, and, and, and. Uh, there's also you can also set the level of of how how far down you want to go with the level. Let me just go to another project that I have. Uh, I think I have a Keto project right here. Right here, let's just see three here. You see here, we have a lot of uh, levels right here. So there's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, six levels. Let us say that I just want two levels of folders. Then I just write minus L2, three minus L2, like this. Then I only get the two levels of folders. But I can also write uh, minus H for human readable. Then I get the size in squared brackets again. And, just, I, I just used it, the, the the date arguments. I just wanted the default um, format. I don't want to don't want to give my own uh, specific format. I just want the just want the date included. Also, the default date. How to do that? Minus D. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a capital D, isn't it? Yes, it's a capital D. That's why oh, I was almost right. I, I used the lowercase D. Um, so let us write minus D minus L and then two levels. Minus H for human readable, and now we should also get the the change date right here. This is the uh, 23rd day of January at uh, six o'clock in the evening. So that is um, it's pretty cool, awesome, awesome, awesome. Let us try something else. Let us say that we we don't we don't want any uh, we don't want all of we don't want any build files, or we or maybe we don't want any KTS files. It is it's a little bit weird because we are inside a cutlet. Uh, inside a Kotlin uh, project, so, but we, we don't want to see the KTS files. We'll get uh, two levels. Oh, there's actually no files, okay. And... 
let's give it a tree right here again. Let us say that I don't want the gradle. That is a folder. I use minus I for that. Minus I. Okay, I think I misunderstood the I. Let's write three minus minus help. Let's, we'll just read the I minus I again. I thought it was uh, excluding those, but let's just see. Maybe it was the folders or something like that instead. Let us just see. Do not list files that match a given pattern. Okay, minus I, that should be. It should actually be ignored, right? So, okay, we're, we're actually not getting the files. Okay, I don't want to see the application test file now. I actually I don't want to see any files with the starts with application. Let us try that. Let's try that. Minus I. Application. No matches found. Minus I. Application. E B I M. Wrong right here. Minus I pattern. This should be okay, right? Okay. Then we have the. We can also add the match dir. Then it's include directories, directory names in the minus p. Okay, so that that also uh, that also matches the directories. That's also quite cool. Um, so we have a lot of cool things right here. Also, if you only want, to, you can set a file limit on. If you only want uh, the directories where you have a lot of large files, then you can use minus minus file limit, and then you can only then you can uh, then you can only get the large files. Let us try that one actually. So I have three right here, and I'll write minus H for human readable, and I get the size. I can see I have a, I have, a, I don't only want the file, you can see I have a file here that is 500 bytes, and I have one here that is 201 bytes. Then we write minus minus file limits, and then we say AB, 300 bytes. My limits. Does not. Uh, I cannot see that. It does anything? <laughs> Let me just check right here. Oh, yeah. File limits minus minus file limits. Okay, it's the number of files. Sorry, it is not the size. It is the number of files. I thought it was the size. Okay, we only want. Uh, do not descend in tears with more than one uh, file. Okay, let us try it again. Let us try it again. So now I actually understood what I actually did. Yeah, first, first we have three. Okay, then we have some folders right there. Oh, there's only one file in it. So let us just say it here. Okay, look here. We have a lot of fol uh, folders up here, a lot of directories with a lot of files. We only want to see directories with one file in it. So we set limit to one. Okay. And so it's file. Limits and then or maybe two. Okay, if there's two files, eight entries exceeded file limit not opening. Dear, I still would like to see those. Okay, what are those 10? We get all of them. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so let us just look okay, again. What else can we do right here? Yeah, we can actually get the output instead of getting the output uh, graphically with the uh, ASCII graphics, if you will. Then we can actually get it as uh, XML or JSON, and that is quite that is quite cool actually. So, so that means it could actually be used in in a program if you need some. Of course, there's other ways to, to fetch all of the files and, and filter them. We could also use the tree. Let's see right here. Let us just see right here. We have the O. We have, we have the XML. I'll let me just grab for XML. Minus X. Okay, so if I write my uh, tree minus X, I get it as XML. So this is the XML output of the, this directory right here. And the same with J. Then I get JSON. I'll remember that. So that that is uh, again, it's pretty awesome, pretty cool. I don't know. Uh, you can see right here. Then we have the type. That's the type key. Then the directory. Then there's a the name of the directory. That's just the, the dots. And then we have uh, the build. That's a build folder. The the build directory. The classes directory. Kotlin directory. And then we have a file right here. And it looks like that's file. And here we have another file. 
dot class file. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Anything else we want to explore? There's some colors uh, we can add, but there was actually colors on the default. Actually, get our colors. We can sort the files on name, version, size. Let's try that. Minus minus sort. The name. Let us try that. Three minus minus sort name. Uh, so minus sort minus minus name. Let me read it with wrong. Okay. Sort. Yeah, that sort here is uh, minus minus sort. Select sort name. Version. Should be okay, right? The sorting options. Okay, first we need to enable sorting about minus V. Mm, minus T leaves files unsorted. Invalid argument is M. Mm. Sort. Name. Okay, there's a user tool, so let us just check right here. Yeah. Ignore case, match DS. Yeah, that was uh, if you wanted to use that. DS first. Okay, we can also get DS directories first. DS first. Let's try that. Now, first we get all of directories, and then we get the files in the button. We have the files right here. And we have the, the directories before that. It's actually pretty awesome. Yeah, that's pretty good, uh, I would say. I limit, I did not understand that. Let us should we try that once again. So limit. We just get this uh, eight interest exceed the file limit, not opening dear. That because the root directory ah uh, maybe it's because the root directory it has two, four, five files. Okay, so that of course then it does not go into root. Six files. Maybe a folder also counts, actually. Boom, boom, file limits. I will just, uh, I have a little cheat sheet here. Let's look it up. Three file limits. Example. And file limits, file. I'll just show you the page that I found right here. This page right here. I was just cooking, so um, let us just look at this. I limit right there. Do not do not descend directories that contains more than these entries right here. Rune makes the tree okay. So let us try to see an example with file limit. Minus file limits. There was no examples for that actually. So let's see if we can find another good example. At the level we we used that we were intelligent not to, enough to actually figure that one out. Print directors only. Or did we try that? I don't think so, right? Minus D. Yeah, I've actually I, I I tried it by by mistake. I actually wrote that in the beginning. I thought it was dates. Date is uh, capital D. Then we get the dates on stats. And print the size of each file and cumul cumul yeah, cumulative size. That is exactly what we want. Minus minus du. Yes, yes, yes. That is human uh, readable, and the s is for size. Human readable. We do not only want the directories. We want the yeah, maybe we yes we want we want the only directories because we want the cum cum cumulative size. We don't need the dates. And this is the. Yeah, this is a cumulative sizes of, of these folders right here. Looks a bit wrong, doesn't it? Um, that's actually okay. So that is a cumulative size. I, I try to put in a large file in one of the directories to see if it actually if it actually grows. So here we have printer files within three hierarchy. Wildcard pruning out directories that do not contain matching files. Yes. This one is, is quite awesome, actually. Let's copy that one. 
the zero, let us just say that we only want ATS. That is only in the root, there was no other files. Uh, okay, ATS. Yeah, okay, then this is that's because then it stops in, in the next level. So if, if the first level if the first level does not have any KTS files, okay. So if the first level does not have any uh, KTS files, then it does not show them. Let's just remove prune. Just uh, we've got minus P. He'll cheat it for some files. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We cannot use double glass, uh, double glass, just one. I would just expect to get those. We have some KTS files here. Let me just show. That's KT files. Okay, sorry. That's it's not KTS. It's, it was KT files. So that was, it was a KT files I was looking for, like this. And then I want to prune. I don't want to see the directories where there's, there are no KT files in it. We get this view. Yeah, that's what I wanted to. I'm sorry about that, but um, yeah, it's fun to explore utilities like that, right? Um, and then, let me just see if there's anything else we should try. Match meter first, ignore case. No case is a good, good thing, maybe. You disk usage. It's pretty awesome, and you can also yeah you can save the result as I said before to a file, so that means that you can take a snapshot of. Um, let's actually do that. Let us. Uh, I want now. I want to take a snapshot because then I can actually see how uh, my file structure changes over time. So then I can write three minus o, i um, my tree structure, structure .txt, and let us now look into that file, and then it actually looks just like. If it was how we are editing it, so yeah, it's it's. I think it, it looks awesome, right? So it is ASCII. So those are ASCII signs that are right there that actually makes out the, the tree. You can also remove the indentation. Actually, I remember that one tree. Let us just grab for indentation. Indent. Oh, I might need to write my help. And then we can remove the indentation minus I. Don't print indentation lines. Minus A, print ASCII craft. Blah, blah, blah. Just write tree minus I. And now there's no indentation. Minus A, then we get it. Then we get the indentation. Minus S. It looks weird. That is just what I want to show you. I, I really like this uh, tree utility, and as you can see right here, I'm not, I, have not, I haven't used it that much yet, but uh, I think it's cool also for filtering out, um, that we can actually filter out files and that you can say you, you're only interested in the first in, in the first level, maybe, of, um, of files, in, or maybe the three, three levels down, you want to know, are there any files uh, with a certain uh, pattern, minus P, and have um, start.txt, then we get all the text files, and we can also say, of course, Go a bit further down and look like this, and then if we don't want to see, see the, the folders, then we just write minus minus prune. Look, now I actually look like I've, I've used this for years, this utility, right? Which, of course, you you just saw that I have not, but uh, you can see, uh, yeah, when, when you start using it, um, it will um, it will you'll go through the muscle memory very, very fast. So that is actually it. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great evening, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.